Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have me in a bare face and might be a little hint for y'all as to what we're gonna do today which I know you already know from the title but I'm still gonna act slack so yes, we're gonna try some viral TikTok hacks now I know that we don't have TikTok in India and yada 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 you know, we still find TikTok videos on YouTube and all that so I'm gonna try to find some viral makeup hacks and we're gonna try them out and we're gonna test whether the hack side is actually more uh, prettier or more efficient than the normal side and also how many steps does it take for us to reach something that looks like this and something that we would do normally so this side the left side of my face would be how I would do my makeup normally and the right side would be the viral hack face so let's get started so my face is prepped I don't want to get up to get my settings spray. Can you all do it for me, please? It's right there in my wardrobe. Just open it and you'll find it. Okay, fine. I think I have hacks for about all the steps that I'm going to be taking uh, in my makeup routine. I know it sounded really serious. But yeah, so uh, we're going to start with obviously foundation. And um, for the foundation hack... If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one. And then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how... This hat says that to put translucent powder all over your face after you prep your skin and then put your foundation on top of it. Now, I don't know how well this would work. So I know I'm going to mess up at some point, but I just, I just have a feeling about it. Um, but yeah, anyways, so I'm just gonna put the normal stuff. What my thoughts on whether this would work or not, um, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it would make like a paste or something, don't you think? Because we're just putting like foundation on top of something like this. So right now, just packed it in, I try to blend it, like not extremely blend but a little bit that's the excess of um so we have so we at least don't end up with patches i don't know no hopes okay this feels really good i don't know should i think this is it's already taking me more foundation than i usually use so i don't like wasting my makeup at all so i am not happy about the fact that i have to use two pumps because it makes it heavy like it doesn't i don't like that heavy foundation look <gasps> sorry i'm gonna blend it now let's see how this looks okay i see i see what it was doing right now so i would definitely say that this pro this hack actually works because if you can see the difference between my under eyes from here and here, it sort of mattifies and blurs in a way your pores and also gives you a little like barrier from your skin to your product. But for now, I would say this definitely works because I do see a difference between my under eyes right here. I don't know if the camera is picking it up really well, but yeah, not something that I might actually use in real life because I know that in some times it's just going to form like a lot many lines but yeah it definitely works so the next TikTok is for concealer do you do your concealer like this and you find it's dragging your face down let me show you how to help with that the reason I'm not a fan of the triangle shape under the eye is because it emphasizes the lowest point of the cheek way too much in my opinion so I'm going to show you my preferred method and also the benefit of this one is that it lifts the face this is a shape I want you to try so I'm going to blend this out and show you the difference so as you can see there is a clear difference this eye is much more lifted and the highlight isn't on the main focal point of the cheek whereas this one here while yes everything's covered and everything the highlight is right here so he basically says that when you're creating that really like hollow triangle which honestly i don't do that in general but i'm just gonna do it for the video's sake so i'm just blending how i would normally now let's blend this out and mostly actually I do use my brush but I do like to go on top of it with a little bit of the beauty blend. 
definitely can see a difference again so i definitely see like how can you like this side is almost like a little like that can you see how the difference between this side and this side because it's not like lifted properly hack definitely slaps so we're gonna add we're gonna set my concealer now the next hack that i saw are for my eyebrows i'm gonna show you a hack to have perfect eyebrows for my routine eyebrows are the first step now what you're gonna do is take your concealer and this looks scary but you're just gonna go and blend it out I'm only going to do this on one to show you the difference. Next, just fill in your brows as normal. I'm using a brow powder. Now clean them up with that same concealer and a flat brush. These are the brows. Now let me show you the differences. This one is perfectly carved out. It seamlessly blends into the skin because the concealer was already there. Whereas this one, you kind of can tell it was carved out. I just love the look of this one more. Now, she did mention that uh, to try this out if, you're, if you do eyebrows as your first step in the makeup, but I really don't. I do my eyebrows about this time when I'm done with my powder, um, but I actually don't mind still trying it. When I have seen them do this hack, they're actually like doing some like weird curly eyebrows or something. They don't like still make the eyebrows the same shape. So I have seen this hack, but I thought it was just something that people do when they're doing theaters or something like that, but they actually have to, you know. Oh God, this feels weird. Oh, oh my God. Ah, I can't do it on my left. Ah, so that is great. So I guess this is enough of concealer. I don't know. She didn't tell me how much to put it on. Just blend it blend this concealer with this makeup sponge how is this supposed to look good then I'm supposed to um, have like bake it and conceal it with some powder some loose setting powder great I look wonderful I still don't understand the difference between either like I maybe if I comb it a little bit it might look a little better okay but it feels very heavy like was she using a pomade no she wasn't she was using a powder right but honestly I don't know what do you think I think what it does is for people who have a lot of hair or maybe bushy eyebrows um, maybe this part to like reminds the hair that's visible over here because I feel that's what it's doing over here but I don't really like it I think this hack works but maybe for someone who has a little more bushier eyebrow than I do because I don't like it I can see a difference and I don't like it. So the next hack is actually for your eyes. And what it does is you can make any sort of uh, eyeliner using just your setting spray and any sort of a color that you want. So we're gonna try this on. If you take some micellar water and you dip it into an eyeshadow, you can make like any color graphic liner. I'm gonna be so excited. Taking some of this micellar water, and I'm gonna take it like in the corner like this. I'm literally making watercolors. Ah! <laughs> Ready? Okay, let's see. Okay, let me put lashes on and then the final look. <gasps> what do we think? I didn't find any interesting ones for your eyeshadow. So I'm just using this Makeup Revolution palette. It's called Forever Flawless. So the eyeshadows are really nice, um, but the only problem with the eyeshadows are that they have a lot of fallback. There's a shade called Nymph, this mauve purple right here. I'm gonna use that. So. so what this hack actually says is to use some micellar water and put it in your eyeshadow or your brush. Uh, and then it essentially makes them into that colored eyeliner. 
so anyways um so you take your makeup brush and i have this very thin one and you basically go and put this in like a micellar water and then you're supposed to put this in a nice shadow never done this before uh i don't know if this will work because i don't see it working this isn't micellar water like supposed to be like makeup remover working i need maybe i need to switch out brushes because it has like a lot of fraying right now happening maybe i am gonna switch out the brush go back into the pan Oof. <sighs> oh my god This thing works. Okay, I don't know how. But this thing works. I need to show you in a closer view way. Like I know I've done a terrible job at putting my eyeliner right now, but I'm still stroked that this is actually a nice shadow liner. So I'm just gonna clean it up because the girl also cleans it up with a uh, concealer. And then I'm gonna try a different color on this eye and see if lighter color works better. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out with a blush. I don't know if it will work with a blush, but I do have brighter colors in a blush. So I'm just gonna put some micellar water and take like this really pretty pink that I have, like a really nice pink blush that I have right now. And let's see if that works. I'm so scared right now. Wait. Oh my god. Let me let me take a mirror. I don't think it works that well with blushes, but let me try another eyeshadow. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh my god, can you all see that? These are literally just eyeshadows. This is a brown one. I don't know how this works because micellar water is supposed to get rid of makeup. How is it making these beautiful, beautiful eyeliner shades? Like literally, see, it was so easy. It does not even look like eyeshadow. It looks like it was actually an eyeliner shade. Still cannot believe it. I chose the ugliest color possible. Okay. So my eyes are clean now. I used the micellar water to clean it. And I'm gonna use it to add some eyeliners. So I'm just gonna put some powder on just to create a base. And I'm gonna do some fun eyeliners. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is so fun. Didn't know it. Let's go for this really nice blue color. stuff oh my god i'm already excited oh my god this works oh my god this is so good again not the best job at eyeliner but can you believe it let me try a different color. I know I look really stupid right now, but I'm really tempted to try this orange one, so. Obviously, pays off as well. 
this orange is although very like maybe it's because of my skin tone but it's not paying off as much as this does but i think it's the color's fault not the techniques let me switch to a little more pink here or maybe green let's do green i want to do this green This thing works. I'm a peacock. So clearly this hack works and we've been having too much fun with it. Um, now move, let's move on to the next hack. So I didn't really want to continue this video with blue and green eyeshadows on my eyes. So I just added a little bit of black to both. And yeah, so next is our nose. I did try to understand it and I don't think I did. Um, so if she basically goes right here, I'm just using a normal eyeshadow brush. Is this too dark? I don't know. And she brings it sort of down like that. Okay. Okay, this is completely off. Let's, let's pretend as if we got it in like one swift motion. Like that. Okay, the next thing that she does is sort of creates like a little triangle here. Okay. This side is just... We're not even going to talk about it. Then she goes and creates like this another line. And then she creates like this second line. And then she fills in like her nostrils area like that okay then i'm gonna undergo a very like messed up surgery uh then she blended it all a try to blend it um Maybe I'll add like the concealer and highlight and then we can judge it for sure. So I'm just gonna take the concealer and add it right there on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the center, right there. Yeah. Ooh. No, it did work i just don't think i would go out like this with my nose having like botched corners yeah maybe it would work if i would do it more better next time and like with more precision but who has the time for that it's supposed to be a hack it's supposed to make it easy so no i think i'm gonna do it my original way how i did it because it does not require me to add like four crosses here five crosses there it's literally just like it would go from here down there and a little bit over here and it would be perfect so i don't know why i would go through this much of pain for something looking like this so yeah it did work but not for me then the next hack was actually for um cream blushes but so we're gonna try regular blush or we're gonna try um a lipstick later on if this does not work so first you grab your soft pinch liquid blush you apply it onto the palm of your hand then you simply blend it out with your second palm and tap the easiest way to apply blush um, got enough there i think and you'll see now just I mean, yeah, it works. It works. I think I can see the blush very nicely over here. But 
I don't think I would use it. Like this won't be my first choice. Like it, I think I would apply my blush like, you know, this. If anything, this is more easier than actually applying it to your palms and then applying it over here. It doesn't make sense. I think if you, uh, if you're someone who does not know, like exactly where to work the blush on your face because some people have like difficulties with their where they don't know where to apply it on the apples of the cheek or the like hollows of the cheek i personally like my blushes to be applied over here like on my cheek it's neither a thumbs up no nor a thumbs down so yeah let's move on to the next hack so for the lips i have this tiktok I have a little tip for the girly. So if you want to hear a tip, keep watching. Your perfect lip shade will be your eyebrow liner, your eyebrow pencil lining your lip. And then whatever you use for blush on the middle of your lip. And then a gloss. It will always be the perfect lip shade. Now, as you can see, I have very pigmented lips. And she says to use my eyebrow color as in my lip like uh, lip liner and then my blush color in the middle of my lips now again i do not use cream blush so i'll have to use powder so we'll have to see how that works here and we're gonna try to i mean i'm gonna use both of these colors as my lip liner right now very weirded out i don't know how this would work Like this is the exact color of the pigmentation around my lips. So that's really weird that I have to add more on. Okay. So basically she said to do this and then use the blush in the center and then apply a gloss on top so i'm going to use the powder brush i don't think this would work as well i just have to use my fingers maybe i need a mirror hold on And for the final, it says to apply a gloss. Okay. Okay, I feel very weird. So, Loki, I love this because truly this is the perfect lip color for me. Um, my natural lips do look like, like this with a gloss on. So, yeah. Now I know that I have completely downhill the half and half face look, but you know who cares. Uh, but the last hack is actually a highlighter hack, and here it goes. Apply the highlighter over here without any wet ingredients on my like brush, and just apply it how I would not naturally apply it, um, and see the difference in the end. So I'm going to spray this setting spray on my highlighter brush. Now I'm going to go quickly before it dries up into my highlight. I already see this. I know this difference. Can you look at it? Oh my god. I don't even need to compare at this point. So this is the other side. So as you all can see, it makes a huge difference in my highlight. Like, 
the highlight over here it just shows in from within comment down below your favorite hack and what do you think you would actually use in your real life i am nosy and i would like to know so that was it and this is the full face i look crazy as i suspected in the start of the video i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this video please share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye for now